Hi guys, I'm back. So as you guys may know, I was gone for like about two or one month. Um, and there's a reason to that. Ignore that fly. So like I said, there's a reason for that. And um, I will kind of like give an update or like um, explain my life. I cut myself. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Uh, I will explain my life while I paint my face. As you saw by the title of the video, I'm going to be painting my face today. I don't know of what. A clown, a demon, a skull, whatever I feel like. Whatever I could feel like I could do. So this is what this video is. I might just explain, uh, update in my life, um, tell you guys what else, what's new in my life, and just paint my face. And if you don't like talking videos, and um, if you don't like people painting the face, then you could um, click off right now. You're, I already got your view. Thank you. Bye. So I'll start off with the basics first. Um, but let me show you what I'm using. I'm using Snazaro face paint, white face paint. These face paints that I got at Walmart, which are like three dollars, not that expensive. A mirror, an iPad for reference, and I don't, um, I don't paint my face all the time or like I painted it like around last year. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, I mean, I don't have an audience. Who's gonna remember? But last year I painted my face. Um, it was around also Halloween, and I painted my face as a clown. And I was like, you know, why not? Why not just come back on Instagram or YouTube by painting my face once again? So I don't paint my face, so I'm just using uh, <laughs> brushes that I have laying around that I have not used, like acrylic brushes, multimedia brushes. So, and I'm using this. I'm not gonna show you because you're not supposed to put that on your face. So I'm just not gonna show that. Show that. I also shave my face for this video. So. I didn't shave this off. This never comes off. I'm never shaving it. I don't care what people say. I don't feel comfortable without it. So that's what I'm gonna use. Um, I also got my snacks, my M&Ms, and some water. And yeah, let's get started. Also, if you see me reaching for this, this is not awesome spray. This is water, sub water. It has bubbles inside. So let's start off. Um, what's new in my life? Um, well, obviously, as you guys know, if you were follow my Instagram, um, you guys might have saw that I posted a video like you know taking a break or like leaving Instagram. And that was because um, it was just really taking a toll on me. Oh, that is. <laughs> it was really taking a toll on me. Um, because um, I couldn't understand the new algorithm. And. I was losing a lot of followers and a lot of likes and I just didn't understand why I blamed it on myself maybe like I'm not good enough and shit and I kept trying and um it got to a point where it was just not healthy for me anymore and I seriously had other better problems in, like bigger problems in my life like college I had not applied for college at that point so I was like you know what I think I need to worry about that first and then like maybe try to like come back to Instagram because I know for I know like right now it is very important for like artists to like know how to use Instagram because you know it's 2020 and a lot of it it's it's like you need to know how to use social media to um, you know gain a little bit of following because a lot of people use social media right now and if you don't then you can fall behind so I was like, you know what, let me just apply for colleges, um, get my shit together, and then start worrying about this again. And um, that's what I've been doing. So that's why I left, that's my explanation. And um, I'm not coming back to like try to please people or like, worry about the same things I was worrying about. Um, I came back because I'm bored and um, this was always like a fun, fun thing for me before it got really stressful it was always a fun thing for me because it was a way to like express it was a way to like express myself without having to worry about shit and just think 
and just let my creativity like really shine so you know um i was really busy with like school projects and stuff so i wasn't really like making art for myself oh yeah i got into a college that's also something you can really see how <laughs> You can really see how white my like yellow my teeth are. This looks it's gonna look very creepy until <laughs> until like it it gets completed. So guys, hang in there, please. Um, but yeah, I got into a college, um, Santa Monica Community College. It was not my first choice of college. I wanted to go to Otis, but I'm broke. Um, I'm not rich, so um, that wasn't gonna happen. And also I didn't have a portfolio ready. I just kind of like slacked off once I graduated I didn't work on anything. Because I'm also very new in art. I have maybe, this is my like, a year and a half taking art seriously. So I didn't really have the skills to make a portfolio or like do something very like, something that I would be proud of to present to Otis, so I just didn't. And also, um, the for most colleges, it was the time to to like apply was already over, because I started applying like literally three days before it was like time to go back to school. So I applied for um, Santa Monica College, I got accepted, and I had two days to get my classes ready, talk to my counselors, um, turn in my, my uh, you know, financial aid and all this other stuff and get my books and shit and figure out how college was gonna work. So I was like really busy. I wasn't just like <laughs> slacking around. And you know, I got my classes. I I did go to um, Santa Monica, but um, I did, you know, I'm, I'm majoring in art. I didn't really get to like choose my classes very good because like I said, by the time I started, started applying, it was already late. Oh shit, it was already late. So I couldn't like really like choose. I didn't, I wasn't in the position to choose what classes I wanted. So I just got what I, what was still available, which was, I have, I have acrylic painting techniques um, and I have oil painting class, beginners. And I got sculpture. I've never sculpted in my life, but I decided to get it. And um, I got counseling because my counselor said I should get it. So I got counseling. Maybe I should wait for it to dry because, um, it's, <laughs> no. Okay. I'm waiting for it to dry. Oh, my nose is just fucked. <laughs> so those are the class I got. And you guys, oh my god. I didn't think college was gonna be that hard, especially if it's community college. I'm not downgrading community college or anything, like, college is college. But you guys, this has been the most stressful first month of school in my whole fucking life. I went to, like, I was um homeschooled online school for my whole 12th grade. And I got really lazy, I got really, I started slacking off a lot, I gained a lot of weight, I stopped doing sports, I stopped going out. So I was used to like being in my house and doing art whenever I felt like it. And then when I got into college, it was like, bitch, you better hurry up because you need to turn this painting in by Friday and you also got more stuff to do for other classes. So that's like, <laughs> it's a whole thing, like, it, I don't, it was new to me. But I like it because, you know, it's it's what I want to do. It's art. I, it's, I'm learning new stuff, which is great. So I like it, but it's also really challenging. And guys, let me tell you, for a sculpting class, we had our first like big project and it was making a sculpture out of completely cardboard. Guys, oh my God. This thing took 40, 40 to 50 hours to make, to complete. It has been one of the hardest things I've ever done in my whole life. I, like, um, I mean, uh, oh fuck, is it just, just yeah? Like, creative-wise, because, oh my god. 
<laughs> I wanted to throw myself off the building. Literally, it was hard as f <laughs> Um, I had this whole thing sketched out and I was like, and you're supposed to like um show them your sketches and stuff. So I did that and I and I showed them and everybody was like, oh my god, I can't wait to see it, I can't wait to see it. A day before it was due, I left, I spray painted it in because the dress, like, I, I made a Katrina. If you don't know what it is, it's part of a Mexican culture, the Day of the Dead. And it's, um, I am seen, like, the skulls with, like, flowers and the big things. That's a Katrina. So I decided to do that as my sculpture. So once the whole body was done, the whole dress, the whole gown, it had taken me 38 hours to do that. I spray painted it in black, left it outside to dry. My dumbass left it for a day to dry, and when I wanted to bring it back in my studio, it started falling apart, and I was fucking quaking. I started panicking. I started. <laughs> I wanted to cry. I didn't though because I because I'm like if I start crying and I get depressed, I am not gonna get nothing done. So I you know I, I was like, what the fuck do I do now? Like what the fuck do I do now? I had to sketch out a whole new project because. The cardboard that I had, uh, my mom's a florist, so she has a lot of cardboards. Oh my god, this is the key. She has a lot of cardboards. Um, so I, it wasn't a problem. By the but by that time, I had a re I had already used up all the cardboard that I had for that gown. And if I try to restick it, like I don't know, the glue wasn't sticking back, and it was just not bonding together. If I try to do the same thing, just like fix it, it wasn't working was i oh yeah it wasn't bonding together and it was just not i don't know what the fuck was going on so i had to i got my ipad out i got Procure and i started sketching out a whole new fucking dress gown design that i had to i was like i have to be able to make this in 24 hours so i can turn something in i'm not gonna turn something in late like it's not gonna happen like i did not just pay 600 dollars to turn something late in so um I sketched out a whole new thing. The color completely changed. The gown completely changed. Everything completely changed. And that set me back so much because I was cutting on that last day to add the hair, to add the flowers, to paint on the skull. It was just the details. But when the gown got destroyed, it was like, now I gotta make a whole new gown and I'm not gonna be able to put in the hair. I'm not gonna be able to do the details that I want because I'm gonna just be working around the clock. So I started getting the scrap coppers that were left, I started making a whole new gown. I started um, doing what I could in 24 hours. And since the color changed, I didn't have enough spray paint to paint it, paint it that color. So I was like, okay, let me just make the gown and go buy the spray paints tomorrow and just make, make the flowers today. So I stayed up until like two, 2 a.m. I believe, cutting flowers and like making the gown and the next day I woke up like around seven, did my chores, um, went to class and then finished the rest of it. You, I wanted to cry. That was the most stressful shit I have ever done. Ever. Creative, creatively, of course. Guy, <laughs> like I wanted, like, I was so proud of the sculpture that I was, that I had worked on so hard and hard on. And then all of a sudden it was done because um, I left it in the sun out too much. And I was so devastated, but I was like, you know what? I can't sit here and like, <laughs> sitting here and like, you know, just cry over some shit. And I gotta turn something in. So I just did that and I turned it in on time, of course, but. That was the most, <laughs> that was the most hardest shit I've ever done. Like seriously, like seriously, seriously. And this is why I'm doing this because like I needed a break. This is my, literally, I'm not, I'm not kidding to you. This today is the first time I've had a break since school started. This is be the only day, but I don't, I don't have assignments. From what I could see, cause I'm doing it online cause COVID. I don't have assignments. I didn't have classes today. I got, I got homework that I need to do. I'm, but I'm doing this and I'm gonna do it after of course um, but this is literally the first day I've had to like relax 
and not worry about school, not worry about a project. And literally my whole art, literally my whole art studio was a complete fucking mess. Like shit was everywhere. It was just not okay. Like, no. So I had today, um, it was, it was a pretty chill day. Um, I cleaned up everything and fixed my art studio. It's, it's looking nice again. Um, so I needed to put some things in and like rearrange some stuff. Um, so yeah, that's also something new. I'm sorry if I'm changing topics a lot. I just don't know what the fuck to talk about. Um, I turned 18. I am legally an adult. Oh my, I itches. Oh, I'm legally an adult. I can legally get arrested. <laughs> that was a big deal for me because um, it's scary. Like, I don't know why it's scary to me. It really, really is. This is like, mm, I'll just Photoshop it. <laughs> It's, um, it's, it's literally scary for me because, you know, um, I'm Mexican, so even though I turn 18, it's not, I cannot do whatever I want because, you know, that's not how Mexican house, households work. But it's still, like, I'm legally an adult now. Like, I cannot depend on my mom as much, which is scary because if I have all this, it's because of her, literally. I have some of it because when I was working, I was, um, no, I, I got money to buy shit for me. But most of these things are from my mom. Like that couch right there was $100, my mom bought it. Most of this shit is my mom's money. So I was like, fuck, like, I know I'm not a cheap bitch. Like, I'm poor, but I'm not cheap. So I was like, I need to find a fucking job because I quit my job when I was like 17. So I need to find a job and now I'm in college. I'm a full-time student, so that's hard. And it's, you know, it's growing up, so it's hard. It's It's like stressful. I barely turned 18. Like, I'm fresh out the womb. I, I look fucking crazy. Imagine if there was a fucking earthquake right now and I had to run outside. People would be like, what the fuck? So, yeah, um, I turned 18 two days ago. Um, but in those two days, I registered to vote, which is great because we don't want that orange in the house no more. Um, I registered to vote. What else did I do? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get my driver's license. Um, try to get my credit card. It's just a lot. It's it's it's. It, I feel a little bit more free, but not that much, of course. Get the chancla, but it's a sense of freedom, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> It's a sense of freedom a little bit, but um, I'm becoming an adult. Fuck. So back a little bit to the face paint. Um, I said I'm gonna paint myself as a skull. Oh. The problem is I don't have black eyeshadow or black face paint. I do. I mean, it's this look right here. They're these. So I don't know if I should use if I should use these two, or if I should like be a blue skull. I think I'm gonna try the black one first, and if it doesn't work, um. I'll change it up. So I'll be looking more at this mirror than the camera because I need to see it. I don't want to fuck this up because I'm making a TikTok. Ta da! I tried my best. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a Halloween makeup artist. I'm not an FX makeup artist. So this is the best I could do. I think it looks pretty badass. I think every year that I do it, I think I get a little bit better. But this is it. And of course, it's going to look different in Instagram because I'm going to edit the fuck out of it. I don't care what y'all say. I'm going to edit it. So, I expect to see this, but way more different. Like, way, 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 way more different. Uh Oh, shit. I have to fix that eye. I wish I had a a deeper... I wish I had a deeper, a deeper black so I can like really pop off. That's what I'm gonna mostly edit on, on like, on my Instagram. I'm gonna edit the black part. Um. So this is the look. So have a great October, which is Halloween is coming up. Even though we can't go out, we can still paint our face. 
in our living room, sit there and watch scary movies. So have a great Halloween. See you guys next time. And expect for me to be a little bit more active on Instagram. So please go subscribe or follow or like this video or share wherever this is on. Have a great October. Bye. See you next time. I'm going to do this one of those beauty, beauty YouTubers in, in outros. Okay, bye. <laughs>